Let's go. Mega bo metal boogie. Metal boogie. <laughs> Yo, that guy looks crazy as heck, man. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Leviathan and we are back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing Eden Zero episode 18. And man, was the last episode really, really interesting. Um, so what happened was uh, we, we f helped out Hermit, you know. Um, so we kind of figured out, okay, now we need to figure out and try to find Valkyrie. Um, we met the Eurasian Six or whatever, so we met um, Drak and Joe and his other guys, Seth, some of the other dudes. We met um, Spider, he came in there, they killed him because they're like, yo, you're, you're, you're trash, basically. And then, and then he gave them the information about the Eden Zero, so now Drak and Joe is targeting Eden Zero. Great. Gonna be horrible. But anyway, the group tries to figure out where Valkyrie is, right? So um, we come to find out, we're like, okay, we don't know where she is. We're going to go to a planet called Mildian, in which they were going to meet up with a fortune teller who is going to be able to tell them where Valkyrie was. So when we get there, we come to find out that the narrator, Xiao Mei, the one that's been talking to us, like, this isn't a story about the past and future, you know, whatever. The, the lady in her weird void thing. We broke the fourth wall there so heavily and we meet Xiao Mei in which she starts ch talking to Shiki and everybody else which was blind blowing anyway. <laughs> so she kind of gives us this little run around in which she's like she'll give us the answer for Valkyrie but then we get put into this um, little thing that looks like a tournament I guess. So I guess we're starting a bit of a tournament arc going on here. I don't know what's going to happen but I'm super excited to react to the episode. Don't forget to um, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out that Patreon for full uncut reactions of this show and many, many more. And, but without further ado, though, we're going to get started with Eden Zero, Episode 18. Let's go. Oh, good. No uh, recap. <laughs> I, it would be crazy if you knew everything in the world and then like one thing you didn't know you'd be excited for that, right? Oh, why is it loading like that? What the heck? Oh, okay, so it's like uh, branched timelines, I guess. So she kind of just knows like a bunch of possible outcomes, but then she doesn't really know what the actual outcome is going to be. But is it just one-on-one -on -one battles, or is it just, um, does everybody here have to fight? ミッチャシスタ。ハンとの仲間なら俺も友達だろ。そう。指揮が戦う。ここまでは分かっていた。それで最強の戦士。メタルフォーミー。レッツゴー。レッツゴー。レッツゴー。レッツゴー。レッツ
仲間がやられそうになっても手助けしたら失格残り3人全員に勝てたらあなたたちの欲しいバルキリーの情報をあげる約束だからな私は約束は破らないさあ始めるわよ2回戦エデンズゼロチームからは人気上昇中の B 級が Okay, so it is gonna be like a、uh, team type of fight one on ones. Because I was like, is Shiki gonna be the one who fights everybody? But. Okay, what the heck is that guy? <laughs> He looks like a vampire, man. Or something like that. Oh no. See, this guy's trying to act like he's a fighter, but he has guns in his boxing gloves. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna take him out easy, man. Of course, guys. It wouldn't be an Eden Zero episode without a little bit of fan service. Every single. Episode. Characters in Hiro Mashima's world are just a little bit more perverted than regular people or regular characters in anime, you know? They're just dialed in about like, like、uh, times 10. Dialed up. Yo, she took him out easy. Yo, you see what I mean, man? She didn't even show us her ether gear. I guess she didn't, I guess she doesn't know what it is or how to use it yet. That guy looks like a、uh, mixture of like Lucario with Bugs Bunny. Oh my god, EMP knows gonna take out this thing's ether gear, man. Yo, these battles are getting done and dealt with so quickly. So quick and easy. He plays so dirty, too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I wonder who this last person is gonna be in the final round. Wait, don't tell me she's actually biting Valkyrie. No, no, and that sword too? Oh no. That's definitely Valkyrie. Yeah, there, yeah, that's Valkyrie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a replica of Valkyrie. That's not actually the real. Okay. Alright, never mind. Alright, alright, let's just chill then. I don't know why, but that just seems creepy to be making a replica of another bot that already exists and is already still alive. I don't know why, but that just freaks me out. Oh man, I'm glad we're getting a little bit of a backstory with Homura. She was one of the most mysterious characters here, and I was kind of wondering if we could get something. To show us her, like,、uh, oh wow.、Oh, Valkyrie took them out in like 0.2. Wait, Homura doesn't, probably doesn't have any parents, does she? Oh no, so she was probably abandoned and yeah, yeah. 
That's sad. Oh, look at that. She made her talk somehow. And now she's just gonna go with her. Oh shoot, yo, she, yo, she learning, man. The 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 student becomes the master here, man. I don't know if this Valkyrie is exactly like the original Valkyrie, maybe not, but I feel like it might be similar. これは訓練用アンドロイド。TV7000。身の人格や強さを <coughs> I don't even know how Xiao Mei kidnapped all those people and put them into this battle. Like, why did they agree to do it? <laughs> all the enemies, you know what I mean? They sound like they were just plucked out of the timeline. Oh, well, we're on the next adventure, the, the planet of Gemstone Sundral. Oh no, now th now shit's about to get crazy. The next couple of episodes up to the season finale are gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh, she's gonna tell us something about mother and everything? <gasps> and she's gonna tell us it does exist. This is basically like the One Piece is real. One Piece! Uh, oh, oh! <laughs> it's out there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. If somebody goes there and asks for a wish, mother's like, okay, you get one wish and that's it. You can't come back here ever again. That makes sense. マザーは宇宙の母にして大魔法使い。マザーに叶えられない願いはないと言われています。この先、マザーを目指す者たちとの幾つもの戦いが待っています。どうか悪しき者の手にマザーが渡らぬよう精進なさいませ。マザーにた
other than that though, there wasn't really a lot that happened this episode. We just learned that we have to go to the planet Sundral, and that's where Valkyrie is. So Homer's gonna finally see Valkyrie. I wonder what's gonna happen. Who knows? I really hope their characters go through a huge growth where like like shit happens to the point where it kind of changes them a lot and they start changing their priorities because it feels like everything's a little bit too lighthearted in a very very dark world where they need to really really step it up. So we're gonna see what happens with Planet Sun Jewel. Um, I think that's it for the video. There was a, really wasn't much else going on there. I'm gonna be excited for the next episode for sure. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But with that though, I will end the video here. I will see you guys around and have a fantastic day. And remember, never step in puddles. That's how you get 20 years of bad luck. Always jump over them. See ya.